Chris here and I'm doing a little something different. Um, I'm showing you what I do when I pick something up or find something. Um, this is the first thing I do before I even consider scrapping it. Uh, in this case we're going to talk about a stock car stereo. Um, this one just came out of this Jeep and I've said this in my last few videos. This double Jeep is possessed and I'm having issue after issue after issue. And all I'm trying to do was get it ready for my daughter. So uh, anyway, I'm going to make a whole series of videos on that. But in this case, we're going to talk about this little stock car stereo I took out. Um, they're worth money. Um, a quick Google search of it um, showed all kinds of used ones. Um, they just seemed to range all around 50, 60 bucks. Uh, refurbished ones, 130, blah, blah, blah. But I'm dealing with a used one here. Um, so I'm making a two part video here before I scrap it, I'm going to put it on eBay for 30 days and I'm going to see if I can sell it and I'm going to walk you through the steps of what I'm going to do with it right now from start to finish. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you take something out of it. Uh, here we go. Well, first, as a clip you saw before, uh, I plug in the model number and just see what things are selling for. Um, also, I weigh it. Uh, I noticed all these listings had free shipping on them. Um, so I, I weigh it. And uh, I always send my things out USPS priority. So uh, in this case, $8 local to $21 Hawaii. So I know I'm covered here. Obviously, I'm not going to uh, take pictures of this thing all dirty and nasty, so I'm always going to spend a few minutes just cleaning it up, uh, making it look pretty for the pictures, and uh, now we're going to move on to step three. Oh yeah, just like that. Oh, turn around, just like that. Now, next step, come on, just take some good pictures, uh, take it from all angles, uh, make sure they come out good. And people judge uh, the merchandise off pictures. So uh, make sure you do a good job. Uh, I use Photoshop. I clean them up. Um, I don't try to fool people or change pictures in any way, but I try to get the best angles and glare, all that crap. But uh, take good pictures. Now that the pictures are all taken and they're looking pretty, I'm going to go ahead and post it here to eBay. And uh, eBay's not the only site out there, and I'm not promoting eBay. I've just been using them for well over a decade with a lot of success. So I'm going to continue to use it until the success disappears. But uh, here we go. This is not an eBay tutorial. Um, I just know what works and what doesn't. I just took the last... Uh, stereo sold and uh, used his, uh, we'll call it a foundation, to uh, post mine and sell it. So he was successful, so I'm going to try to be successful as well. Well, folks, there it is for part one. Hopefully I'll see you back in 30 days without having to scrap this, making, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 bucks. Opposed to the uh, 23 cents taking it as is to the scrapyard. Um, again, in 30 days, we'll see if we're going to be tearing this apart and trying to make a little more than 23 cents. But until next time, like always, I'm going to end this with a quick disclaimer. Um, see you at part two.
I'm gonna keep this short and keep you YouTuber police off my back with a few disclaimers. Uh, number one, scrap value is always the lowest price for an item, just above garbage. Uh, so if you bring something home that works or has working parts, consider selling on Craigslist, eBay. That's actually how I make a lot of money. Uh, number two, scrap prices change with the stock market. Uh, good rule of thumb, like I stated, but not fact. Uh, when oil prices are high, usually scrap prices go up, and then vice versa. Um, for the purpose of this video, I just stated the prices from the last trip I made, uh, so they're not gonna be your prices. So I'm just using these as comparisons for the video. Number three, come on, use common sense. We're working with metals. They're sharp. Uh, they have sharp edges. Wear gloves. Protective eye gear. Do what you need to do to keep yourself from going to the hospital and cutting to any profit you might make.